I'm Trisha Selgrath and this is Arts Explained. The name of this painting is Family Vacation. Now, do you think that that is because of the items that people have taken on their vacation? Or do you think that the items in the painting represent the family? I'll let you in on that secret in just a minute. And I'll also be going over the techniques that I used to create this painting. Before I dive into this lesson, I want to tell you a little bit about where I was. This is the forgotten coast of Florida, Mexico Beach, that was devastated by the hurricane. And this was prior to that. I had gone down there with the Atlanta Fine Art League. One of the members was uh, has a, a place down there, the Driftwood Inn. And uh, his name's Tom Wood and his wife, Peggy. They are both artists. The Driftwood Inn, uh, you can imagine, with the owners being artists, was incredibly beautiful and creative just an amazing place that they graciously shared with us. The little bungalow that I stayed in uh, off the main property is gone now. The chapel that was beside me, um, the, the outbuildings, all the bungalows, things like that are absolutely gone. Now, the Driftwood Inn is rebuilding and I do encourage you to check in with that area and um, on how the progress is going. The Forgotten Coast of Florida is amazingly beautiful and we were there in early November and it was bursting with blossoms and was absolutely gorgeous. This painting and the objects in it. I have been collecting uh, oh, for many, many years. Uh, I took a whole box of these items uh, from my home uh, to, to take down on the beach and shoot these items. This collection started, um, or this idea, I should say, this concept started uh, with my Honored Vessels paintings, in which I took a much larger collection of these items and personified them. And you can see uh, my Honored Vessels will be posted. I haven't posted them as of me doing this video, but I will be um, posting Honored Vessels and Honored Vessels too and that will get more into the, the personification of these, these vessels. Now, this, um, you can imagine, if these are personified, and this is a family, uh, not just random items, um, we have the grandparent, so if you've ever put a, a conch shell to your ear and heard the ocean, that's what it reminds me of, that you have this, this vast wisdom that's being imparted to you. Beside it, we have the father figure, very stable, massive base, um, very transparent. Um, with communication. He'll let you know just what he's thinking, but he's a little plugged up emotionally. This is the mother figure. The mother figure is more ornate uh, on the exterior, open emotionally. She is surrounded, they're both surrounded by all their children. Uh, say perfectly normal beach vacation. I expressed these figures by realistically interpreting textures of woven grass, distorted glass, 
light on the shelves, shadows and reflective light on the sand enhanced by the unfocused waves in the background. By softening and blurring the, the brushwork in the background, I was able to emphasize the details in the foreground. I put the camera down just above the sand to backlight the objects in the morning sun. From that angle, the shell glowed orange and beautifully colored reflective shadows were cast upon the sand. I reveled in portraying the wavy imperfections of the glass. During this series, I fell in love with seashells. When observing something closely enough to depict it in paint, you pay homage to it. And the lovely details of seashells are so special. And each one is a little home. I love that. I like the challenge of painting woven elements. There's a lot going on on that jar. Uh, plus the bright yellow shell is bouncing yellow all around. Pay special attention to the reflections. I know I did. Many people look at representational art, um, landscapes, still lifes, and think that they're just a, a technical exercise. Ask the artist. <laughs> yes, people take classes and they do technical exercises, but there's typically a reason why an artist has chosen to do a particular scene. Ask the artist before you assume that there's no meaning behind their work. Thanks so much for joining me on my artistic journey. Below you'll find more information. You can purchase this original with or without a frame uh, and reproductions. So um, see that down below. Also, please like, subscribe, um, comment, uh, leave me a message or send me an email, all of that information is posted in the description below. Thank you. Hi, I'm Trisha Selgraf. Thanks for joining me. Really, Pepper? The dog. <laughs>